I'm looking into the use of heat. I'm working on this uh, solar uh, concept and, uh, and it produces a lot of heat. Uh, so I went online and uh, tried to find some information on it and I found this graph. It's, uh, it's a pie chart and it says that uh, domestic use of, of energy is 41% uh, space heating, uh, lighting and applications is a quarter, but water heating is 20% and then there is air conditioning which is cooling and refrigeration which is cooling. So overall you could say that uh, 75% roughly of uh, domestic use of energy is actually uh, meant to create heat. If we go uh, to this picture it says uh, the types of energy consumed uh, by homes and they have natural gas, electricity, fuel, oil and propane. We know that solar energy is about 10% or 7% or of total energy production then you produce electricity with it at the moment. Uh, but it's not in this uh, in this uh, categorization, but the amazing thing is that 45 plus 41 percent, uh, almost uh, well 86 percent of the energy uh, that is being consumed comes from natural gas or electricity, while uh, 75 percent of the energy needed should be heat. Uh, so uh, my direct uh, inferences and, and actually you can see here that 25 or 26 percent of the energy is used in lighting and appliances. Uh, so that could be uh, categorized as pure electricity use. What I get from this, uh, these statistics is that uh, there's no need to use natural gas at all. Uh, that there, is, uh, there can be a reduction in the energy uh, electricity consumption of uh, of about 20% uh, or something like that 15% and that uh, fuel oil and propane should be uh, uh, should just be forgotten about as a, as a source if you use solar energy and uh, and there's there's a really uh, there's very efficient methods of storing solar heat for using at night and I'm working on that but it's just uh, I think it's good for everybody to uh, if you're in a sunny place uh, think about how you can use solar energy because it is uh, it is hot and you can have 500 degrees uh, Celsius or uh, I believe that's 700 degrees Fahrenheit or something heat at a at a pretty uh, low price actually and natural gas is is one of the big cost factors in uh, in energy consumption generally and I'm in Europe Europe is highly dependent on natural gas from Russia uh, except for Holland where I am actually because we have our own resources but it's much wiser to use uh, renewable sources of energy at the moment even if you have large stores of fossil fuels you can always use them later and of course using solar energy is uh, wildly uh, uh, less uh, polluting and better for the environment anyway uh, so if you're in a sunny place think about it and okay the one I almost forgot to say is this air conditioning 8% and refrigerating 5% that's a total of 13% uh, 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 consumption of energy also does not have to be electrici uh, electricity uh, driven uh, and the simple uh, well uh, thought behind it is you used to have uh, or you have uh, uh, it's called um, uh, it's called absorption cooling and those are usually quite big installations but you can make them smaller and they use uh, as a primary source uh, of cooling uh, they use heat strangely enough so so you can heat your home or you can cool your home as well as heat your home with solar energy you can have a big uh, solar uh, power driven direct solar power driven so not first conver uh, converting solar power to electricity and then using it but directly using solar heat to cool your server room, your 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 uh, your big uh, your big uh, office building, it's very easy actually. It is a matter of uh, investing in it, and of course you get lots of benefits. And uh, I'm working on a very cheap way to do it, and I'll tell you more about it if you want to know. But uh, that's uh, for another video. Thanks for watching.